Welcome everyone to another video on the Karting Tips channel. And today we're going to be covering the basics in driving an electric go-kart. As you can see, I've got a Sodi RTX kart over here. By RTX, I'm not referring to the Nvidia graphics cards. Let's hop in and see how our starting position should be. As I'm in the cockpit, it's quite tight over here. I'm presented with my seating position, which I can change, and the pedals, which I can change. Now for the seat, you want to be relatively close to the wheel. By close, I don't mean all the way and your range of movement is limited. It should be maybe one level uh, from the maximum uh, that you can put it. Now for your pedals, we want to have them relatively close to us. And as you can see, I have a firm grip on it when I press the accelerator. But you notice the brake pedal, my foot is not resting on it. So when I'm accelerating, I don't want to unintentionally press the brake pedal. It's at that perfect limit. So I'm gonna put my helmet on, gloves on, and get ready to go out on track so we can guide you live from the track how to be driving these electric go-karts. It's important that you get your braking done before the corner. So we're carrying a lot of speed into this corner now. Turn number two coming up, hit the brakes, slow the cart down, and power out again. Again, utilize that instant acceleration that's on offer to us in these electric go-karts. Approaching this corner, brake before the corner, and power out, slow in, fast out, being smooth, and you're not sliding the go-kart. A common mistake that drivers make is that they'll be carrying a lot of speed heading into the corner, but they don't brake before the corner. So they do this. And at the apex point, you get that slide. That's because you, you brake too late. So when you drift the go-kart, you're gonna be losing speed and losing time. So don't do this. Because I'm at zero, and now I have to build up the acceleration again. On the other hand, if you were to drive smoothly and brake before the corner, like I'm gonna demonstrate now, brake before the corner, take a middle apex and power out of the turn, you are so much faster. That is a couple of tenths that you've just gained in one turn. To show you again now, we're gonna carry a lot of speed heading into the second corner, flat out through turn one. Now break before the corner, break now, target middle apex, back on the gas again. And that was very smooth, no sliding. So I've lost as less time as possible. And to show you once more over here, carry a lot of speed, break early, middle apex, back on the gas again. It's all about approaching the corner slow and exiting fast. And I'll show you once more over here. Slow in, fast out, back on the gas again. And now I'm going full speed through this section, approaching it over here, slow in, on the brakes, fast out, back on the power, flat out. And now they've given me full speed, so remember, Use the grip of the go-kart, smooth steering, smooth steering over here. Big heavy braking board, hit the brake now. Middle apex, back on the power, flat out over here. Run the cart out, run the cart out. Maximize your exit speed. Subtle left hand turn through there. Next heavy braking point, hit the brake hard, back on the power again. And you're gonna go flat out through this final section. So I'm recording this commentary post-race because I want to expand and clarify on some of the points I was making whilst I was driving at the racetrack. So with these electric go-karts, when you hit the accelerator pedal, the power comes to you almost instantly. The speed builds up so quickly. So you want to use this to your advantage at the exit part of the corners because you want to be fast out. So sacrifice time on entry, but power out of the corner by being right on the accelerator pedal once you've slowed the cart down enough and you've apexed at the turn. And when you put your foot on the accelerator pedal, you shouldn't be jabbing at it and being aggressive. Instead, you should be smooth with it and consistent in your motion when you apply the gas pedal throughout the duration of the lap. On the other hand, when it comes to braking, you should always aim to brake before the corner, enough to slow the cart down so you're not sliding through. When a driver slides the go-kart, it normally means that they're taking the corner too fast or they brake too late at the corner. And when you slide or drift the go-kart through the corner, your momentum through there goes from 100 to zero and it's difficult to build it back up as fast as a driver who would be going slow in and fast out who would be driving smoothly. 
So the key in braking is to brake before the corner and make sure you're slowing your kart down enough so you're not sliding through the turn. When it comes to steering the go-kart, you want to be as smooth as possible. So the key is to have a firm grip on the steering wheel to ensure that you're in control of the go-kart, but you want to avoid any rash or aggressive maneuvers to the left or right, as this can unsettle the go-kart and potentially send you into a spin. Now your ultimate aim when it comes to driving these electric go-karts is to combine all of these different techniques we've covered for accelerating, braking and steering when you're driving on the racing line. The racing line is the fastest way to take each corner and if you follow it correctly it will enable you to get a very fast lap time. Remember the racing line will vary from track to track because of the different layouts so there's a different way to take each corner. Generally speaking, the two main concepts which you should understand when it comes to the racing line is slow in, fast out, and out in, out. The slow in, fast out concept is where you're sacrificing time on entry of the corner to be faster at the exit part of the corner. And this can be effective during a qualifying run and also very effective when it comes to overtaking another driver. And the out in, out concept is where you're approaching the corner from the outside edge you're targeting a middle apex at the inside edge and then you're exiting the corner to the outside edge again, maximizing your exit speed. Now you can find videos on my channel which extensively cover the racing line at different tracks for different corners and this will help you get the gist of it. So since we're stationary, this will be a good opportunity to go over some leaning techniques which you'll be applying out on the track. Let's say I'm steering to the left. What I want to aim for is my body weight, starting from the neck, to go to the right. So the idea is not to exaggerate and go all the way to the right as you're steering left. No, it's a subtle movement. So as I steer to the right, left, my body weight and my neck goes to uh, the right hand side, the opposite force. This way, when you're steering left and you're putting your weight to the right, all the weight is on the right hand side of the cart. Hence, it'll give you more grip to steer around that left hand turn. On the other hand, when we're steering to the right, our neck and body weight will go to the left over here in a subtle movement. Again, that allows all of the weight to go to the left hand side of the car. So when we're steering to the right, it gives more grip and we could have a smoother run like that. Guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Let me know if you found it informative. Be sure to share this with your friends. You obviously don't want to share it with your racing rivals. But until the next video, guys, I will see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.